girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I'm Pat Kazira, and greetings from Hong Kong. And greetings also to my grandchildren, all six of them. Max, Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. Girls and boys, I'm going to read you a great Pooh Bear story again today in a whole series of Pooh Bear stories that we're doing now. But first I'm going to show you my book. I wrote it, so that means I'm the author. It tells all about my 50 years of teaching in the classroom. It's not for you, it's for your moms and dads. And they can get it from Amazonbooks.com. And it will help them to help you at home with your, with your work at school. Lots of good advice for them and lots of help for them in this book. I hope they can get it. All right, so that's about my book. Now, the Pooh Bear book. This one today is called Pooh's Pumpkin. Now I know Halloween has passed, but uh, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Some of you uh, have fun at that time. But we always are ready for any kind of a book that is about pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. And here's one about Pooh with his pumpkin. Let's see what happens. Pooh's Pumpkin. All right, here we go. One sunny spring day, Pooh and Christopher Robin saw Rabbit planting seeds in his garden. Rabbit, asked Pooh, what are you planting? Pumpkin seeds, said Rabbit. Oh, I would like to grow a pumpkin too, said Pooh. A growing pumpkin needs special care, said Rabbit. Oh, I will take good care of it, promised Pooh. Rabbit handed Pooh a seed. Pooh and Christopher Robin found a sunny spot near Pooh's house to plant the pumpkin seed. I will sit here and watch the pumpkin grow, said Pooh. <laughs> but Pooh, Christopher Robin said, the pumpkin will not be ripe until next fall. That's a lot of sitting. My pumpkin needs special care, said Pooh, and that's just what I will give it. But first, I have to get something to eat. Pooh went into his house and gathered all of his honey pots. And then he went back outside, and he sat with his honey. He watched the spot where the seed was planted. He watched and ate, and ate and watched. And spring turned into summer. In the middle of the summer, Piglet stopped by. What a pretty vine you are growing, Pooh, he said. Oh, but Piglet, said Pooh sadly, I wanted a pumpkin, not a vine. Pooh went on caring for the vine. At the end of the summer, a flower was on the vine. Pooh was looking at the flower when Owl stopped by. Pooh? Your flower looks just right. Keep up the good work, said Owl. Oh, but Owl, said Pooh sadly, I wanted a pumpkin, not a flower. Pooh, I will be happy to tell you what you are growing. You have a vine, you have a flower. A flower grows on a vine before there is a cucumber. You are growing a cucumber, Owl stated. Ooh. Oh my, Pooh said. I wonder if cucumbers taste good with honey. Think, think, said Pooh to himself. Rabbit gave me a pumpkin seed, so it should grow into a pumpkin. I will keep caring for this plant and see what grows. Pooh went back to work watching the plant and eating his honey. From time to time, the ground seemed dry, so he watered the plant. One day the air was cooler. The leaves were just beginning to change colors. Pooh had fallen asleep. He woke up with a start. 
Eeyore was standing over him. There is a green ball on your vine, said Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore, said Pooh sadly, I wanted a pumpkin, not a cucumber, and not a green ball. Oh, well, moaned Eeyore, I suppose we can find something to do with it, whatever it is. Days and weeks passed. The green ball grew bigger and bigger. Pooh's tummy was growing bigger and bigger too. Now one morning Pooh saw that a small part of the ball had turned orange. As the days went on, it became more and more orange. There goes our jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Then the air got cooler and the leaves fell from the trees and on Pooh's vine was a huge orange pumpkin. Everyone gathered around Pooh and his pumpkin. They looked from Pooh to the pumpkin and from the pumpkin back to Pooh. That pumpkin looks just like your tummy, Pooh, laughed Tigger. Silly old bear, said Christopher Robin. You gave the pumpkin so much care that you grew along with it. Let's all carve the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern, said Christopher Robin. Owl carve the eyes, rabbit carve the nose, and piglet carved the mouth. Pooh's pumpkin was the best jack-o'-lantern in the hundred acre wood. Wow! <laughs> and that pumpkin grew big just in time to replace our jack-o'-lantern that fell off the table. I hope you enjoyed that story girls and boys and see you again next time for another story on Read Me a Story. Bye for now. <laughs>